This video will show you how to read in a CSV file into R. The CSV stands for a comma separated value file. It's a very common file type for reading in data. As an example, uh, we have a data set that we're going to read into R um, that's called Lake Travis. Um, and the extension on that file is .csv. So what does that actually look like? Here's a, a notepad, um, the program notepad, and it just shows the data in this Lake Travis data set. Um, and this is the comma separated value data set or the CSV data set. Um, so you can see the first row typically contains the header or all the column names, in this case the year, the month from January through December. And then the next rows contain all of the data. So we go from 1943 onwards and we have uh, each month and the values for that month and then a comma, and then the next month, and the values for that month, and so forth. Uh, and so this is why we call it a CSV file, or a comma-separated value file. The values are separated by commas. And so as it happens with these CSV files, we can also look at them in Excel. And so these are the same data, just looking at them in Excel. And so Excel can open a CSV file um, uh, just fine, and it looks a lot like an Excel file. Um, and so here we see the year, uh, and then we see all of the months um, of the measurements, uh, and these are the lake levels again uh, in this lake. So let's read these data into R. So what we can do, um, I'm working on a PC right now, um, and so I'm going to read it in this data into R, uh, and I'm going to call this R uh, data set, or this R data frame, lake. Uh, I'm just going to have the lake levels, uh, basically the, those data that we just looked at. What function I'm going to use is called the read.csv function. And so the read.csv function can read in any CSV function you have stored on your computer somewhere uh, and bring it into R so that R recognizes it. In the Windows environment on a PC, uh, typically this is how we set up our directory. And so my laketravis.csv file is actually located in a directory uh, in a folder called data and a bigger folder behind that called Spring 2018 for the ESPM 3012 class, UMN classes, uh, and so forth. And so here's my directory. It's finding my username. It's in my documents in a folder called classes, UMN, ESPM 3012, Spring 2018, data, and Lake Travis. And so that's how we can read in a data set. So let's go ahead and do it. So we click the play button. Uh, and so it looks like it added something here. I'm going to click on the little spreadsheet looking thing. And yeah, those are my data, uh, the years uh, and values for those measurements. Now, if you're working on a Mac, um, everything is basically the same process, although um, things are slightly different. Um, in our case, um, we will not be using a C drive if you're bringing in data on a Mac. Uh, that's just because of the different nature of Macs. Um, and so in this case, you can simply call it the same thing called lake, use a read.csv read function, and then um, specify users or wherever the file path is uh, where you saved uh, your CSV file uh, somewhere on your computer. And so slight differences in a Mac versus a PC, uh, but both approaches can use the read.csv file to bring in data into R.